Hi guys and welcome back to debugging with drone mesh. So in this video I'm going to be showing you a problem that a lot of people emailed me about and it's kind of a yaw twitch motor stutter and it is you know ESCs are starting to heat up way too much and you know there's not no props on and the motors heat up as well. So what is this issue? Well first let me replicate it so you can see if it's the same issue as yours. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and arm my quad and everything is default and let's just take a look at this issue here. So if we power it, now listen to the motor stutter and the you could feel it in your hand when you move it back and forth. You can just feel it like it's just stuttering and twitching. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll have to disconnect Betaflight first. There we go. All right. Can you hear that? That's not how a quad is supposed to sound. And if you leave this on for like I don't know, 30 seconds or so, the motors are going to get pretty toasty. They're already pretty warm already right now. So what is this issue? Now, some people, what they will do is they'll say, oh, it's the P. It's oscillating too much. I need to add D. Well, let's go ahead and add D and see what happens. So I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to put my D all the way up to 100. So let's go ahead and set that up to 100. There's my D term. I'll show you everything in Betaflight, how to fix this and what I'm doing here. So go ahead and save. All right, now let's see what happens when I increase my D. Does the problem get better or does it get worse? So I'm not even going to touch it. Did you see that? You do not want to increase your D because it'll fly to the moon, hit you in the face, or hit somebody in the face, or kill someone. So that is not the way to do it. Now the other way people are going to say, okay, well, I need to drop my D. Now if I drop my D to 10, it'll work fine. If I go above 20, the problem will happen again thus giving you a very, very bad and shitty experience. So how do you fix this issue? Well, you fix it with one variable. That's it. So I left my, you saw what happened right now. It's on 100, 100. My D term's on 100, 100. So that's never really likely going to happen, but I don't know, it might. So let's go ahead and do my little modification here. And we're gonna go ahead and just one variable, change it, and I'll show you the process of doing this. So, okay, so I saved it, it's on 100, still my D term's on 100, 100, let's see what happens now. This is how a motor's supposed to sound like. You see that? Now look at this. That's how it's supposed to sound like, it's not twitching anymore when I do anything. And it's on 100, 100, and you could go ahead and fill the motors, they're gonna be pretty fine. But it's still not recommended to leave it on 100, obviously. Alright guys, this is me from the future. Ignore the next part where I say it was raining. I did take it out after it stopped raining and uh, I did find the fix. So yeah, just stay tuned and just ignore that part and then we'll get into the fix right now. So uh, I do apologize for one thing. It is raining, so I'm not going to be able to test this in the field, but I'll give you the solution to how to get there. Now, however, I was unlucky that this quadcopter does not have memory for a black box, so I'm just basically you know, doing this blindly, but I'm very happy I was able to replicate the issue and uh, find a possible solution. It's really a solution and then you just work on that solution. I'll show you what to do, just increase the numbers. So let's jump into Betaflight and let's check this out. All right, guys, so let's take a look here. Now, first thing I was able to, I'm glad I was able to replicate this issue. Now, some things what I've noticed is when I first had the issue, I had an older version of Betaflight. And once I updated, the problem got even worse. Now I did everything with the BL Heli ESCs, you know, startup power, motor timing, uh, nothing did anything, just the motors got even hotter. So I just went back to default. I left them default. I said, you know, it's the thing is it's inside beta flight. So what did I do? First, what I went is I just enabled the dynamic filter and dropped the gyro and PID to 4.4. So the CPU, because this is an F3 flight controller and this works on every other flight controller, the same issue, but you're gonna be 8K, 8K or 8K, 4K if you're running a F4 flight controller, F3, 4.4 with dynamic filter on. So the problem was still there. Okay, so anti-gravity problem was still there. So I just disabled anti-gravity and I went back to uh, dynamic filter. I'll, I'll just leave it on, doesn't matter. So what you have to do is I went to the PID tuning I left everything default. This is all default right now. I went to filters, by quad, changed to PT1, still same issue. So I just left it by quad. And I started playing with the low pass frequencies because this thing doesn't have in a, a black box log. So I was really just 
guessing kind of of what's going on now i know the issue had to do with d term because when i increased it it got a lot worse so was it vibrations it turns out no because i went ahead and soft mounted that whole flight controller just in case if it's vibrations and it was not so the problem is with the d term low pass frequency back then it used to be 70 and i went ahead and put 70 it's okay but the problem is still there i can still feel it so I went to 50, problem is still there on higher, around 50-ish, you know, every quad's gonna be different, around 50-ish uh, uh, D terms, the problem is still there. However, you know, I don't, I don't really think you'd ever hit 50, but the problem is still there. So the current technique, what I will be doing is just leave everything else default, change this to a five. That's all I did. I just changed this to a five with the dynamic filter on. All right guys, so I did take it out and I left it at five. And when I left it at five, this is what happened. As you can tell here, it just wobbled, 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 and it just fell down. I had stock default D-term and everything. So what I figured out, uh, what I think is going on here, is that the D-term is being amplified from that uh, frequency right there. Uh, so what I did is I started slowly increasing it. I got to around 50 and 60. Anywhere between 50 and 60 was good for me. However, anything below 50 is really going to make it almost unflyable, I think. Uh, in my case, it was. So I got it up to 50, 60. I'm still tuning it. However, I crashed in, <laughs> in water again, so I got to stop. But I got it to fly pretty good. And uh, I'll show you that footage in a little bit. And you can kind of see the difference as I'm tuned. I tuned it up as much as I could before I crashed. And it was flying okay. So I was very happy with that. And uh, it is a it is a fix you just have to find the perfect balance so basically let's just say you set it up to 60 and it's good it's not stuttering and jittering so after you set the filter to 60 then you start tuning it and then once you tune it and you start increasing the d if the problem comes back then you go back go back to your filter and maybe drop it five points so once the problem arises just start dropping the filter a little bit and you could find this through the uh, osd i think under the uh profile the pid profile and it's like filter pp i think it's called uh and then you'll find it there it'll be the first one and uh, you should be able to change it there so that's what i ended up doing and it is a possible fi it is a fix actually you just now i just have to tune the quad it's a little bit more difficult to tune now because i have to balance uh, you know this extra variable into the equation here but overall you know just put the time in and, and you'll get it perfect so uh, i was very happy that i was able to to uh figure this out without a black box log so now the next thing to do is to actually find another flight controller with the same issue that has a black box log so we can actually see what's really going on and if there's another easier fix or a better fix of how to set this up but overall it was a pretty simple fix i'm very glad that uh this is how to fix it and uh it was just pretty easy from there it was just pretty straightforward you know you just got to balance the filter with the d time that's all you got to do and once you get it there you're good to go but i highly recommend you save your settings so you don't forget it because uh yeah uh it's a little bit more difficult to tune because you know the balancing that variable but you'll get there i'm almost there maybe i need like maybe three more packs or so the thing is i keep getting sidetracked every time i go tune so yeah i just end up in water but you know i'll have more of these videos throughout the summer now since the weather is clearing up i'm just very happy and uh yeah so overall it's uh that's that's all you got to do to fix it just uh play with that variable till you get it right and uh, everything should be fine there could be other fixes but i have no black box log so i really can't say this is the only thing that's really working out for me right now and i'm just sticking to it and i'm pretty sure this will fix 98 percent of everyone's problems here and as you could tell i don't have a low esr capacitor on purpose i left it without a low esr capacitor so maybe a low esr capacitor would also help that but i decided not to and to go full-blown raw and uh maybe later on add low esr capacitor but i want to see how far this gets now there's another thing i've also noticed with this thing if you do have video noise, sometimes if you do decrease that value, it kind of reduces the video noise, but your quad does not feel super locked in and needs a little bit more probably tuning. But I'm still, you know, getting into it now since now I'm just recently flying again because of the weather. So I'll have more updates on these issues and, and things like this. And I'm very happy that, uh, again, this, this I was able to replicate this issue and, and find a solution. So, yeah, that's really it, guys. So it was just, you know... It was pretty simple. One variable, just balance it with your pid tuning. If you leave it too low, it'll wobble out. 
and uh, if it, it might, it'll just keep going up. It won't land. It'll just keep wobbling until it just it just keeps going higher and higher and higher. So just have your hand on the uh, disarm immediately because after I disarmed, I had the goggles on. I thought the thing was on top of my head. So I, I yeah. So just be extra careful. Place it very far away from you. Uh, that's a huge recommendation that that you must do. Place it very far away from you and far from anyone. So once you disable, as you could see, mine just dropped out of the sky. It, it took a while for it to drop because it went pretty high. So with no throttle input. Uh, so yeah, take that into consideration and uh, just be careful. And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope it helped you. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And consider joining my Patreon. I really support this channel, keep this channel going. And I do awesome giveaways every month. Anywhere between two to four giveaways, depending. Sometimes something extra. So you do have great probability of winning i don't have much patreons and uh you can also use your for links down below those greatly support the channel and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions like i said please let me know and i will see you next time see you guys take care